answer to many names. <laughs> Hello, Manchester! <laughs> the socialist sun has come out to snow on us today. What an amazing day in our political life in this city that, as we've said, has been built on the blood, sweat and tears of the workers, the activists, the protesters for many years. From Peterloo through to the suffragettes to today, I am proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with you as a lifelong socialist, a trade unionist here with my, my union equity, and as a member of the People's Assembly. After years and years of sitting in dusty church halls and rooms above pubs, it is marvellous to be part of a vibrant and creative organisation. Because as well as being the city of protest, this is also the city of music and art and culture. Stock me up. With this in mind, I'd like to introduce you to a group of women who formed together specially for this week of action. They're a group of women who are standing up to the Tories and asking not just for bread, not just asking for the essentials in life or basic human rights, but also the enrichment of art and beauty in our lives. So with that in mind, please welcome the Bread and Roses Choir. As we come marching, marching in the beauty of the day, a million darkened kitchens, a thousand mill logs gray, are touched with all the radiance that a sudden sun discloses. For the
It's a Latin cannon. Thank you to Kathy Crabb, Sue Corbett, Open Boys, Bread and Roses, Julie Mez.